So I've just finished work. Now, when customers are rude to the staff members. Now, we had this bloke come up to the bar and he was being served by the girl that I was working with tonight. Now, I was doing the dishes and um, I suddenly hear him go, what, you just don't listen like that? And I'm like, whoa, what's going on? Now, I immediately walk over and I'm like, is everything all right over here? And he's just, he looked at me, he goes, uh, he goes, what? What? I said, is everything all right over here? Uh, and he goes, oh, no, no. And I'm like, okay, you're just having the, um, you're just having the sparkling? No, no, and a pale, see? She just doesn't listen, she doesn't listen. And she, he was like, you don't listen. And I'm like, hey, 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 just relax, all right? So don't speak to the, don't speak to my staff members like that. There's no need for that at all. What did you have? Oh, I wanted this and this. Okay, we'll get it for you. Bang, easy. Now, what is the issue? Tell me. Oh, you know, it's been a few times here. A few, bloody few, few, uh, you know, a few times. I'm like, wow, okay, you know, str struggling to get the words out he was. You know, like, he was, he was that that agitated. I'm like, okay, tell me the issues, and then I will address it with the staff members, not you. Okay? He goes, oh, just leave it, mate. Just leave it. Okay, okay, cool. All right, you have me to leave it, I'll leave it. And so he walks off. Now, it ended up being that um, this female staff member had actually told me about him earlier on and the few problems that she had with him. So the first problem was, it was it's actually, I've done a video exactly on what he just did. He gave her a ten dollar and a and a ten dollar and a five dollar note, and then when she gave the change to him, he was like, "No, hang on, I gave you a twenty dollar note." And she goes, "Ah, oh, no, you didn't. You gave me a ten and a five. No, nah, no, nah, I gave you a twenty dollar note." And she's like, "No, you didn't." Now, <clears throat> now I always tell my staff members, if you are one hundred and ten percent sure, then stay sure. If you have, if you are ninety five percent sure, you got that five percent doubt, then we give them the benefit of the doubt. She was 150% sure. Now, an even funnier thing was that his mate was standing behind him. And if his mate had seen him give a 20, he would have said, oh, look, I actually did see him give you a 20. But he stayed quiet. So anyway, that was the first issue. Then the second issue was something else. And she gave the change. And he was like, well, shouldn't, have that, shouldn't that be $9 change? She's like, well, no. So both times... She thought he, uh, she had under, um, refunded him less, not refunded, given him less change than what he expected. The funny thing is that if that would have been the case, if he had have given a 20 buck note, then our tills would have been up when we did the final count at the end of the night, but they were spot on. So, do you know what I mean? Like that shows that he was actually in the wrong. But it's like, why do customers have to feel that they have the right to talk to people like that? Now, this poor girl's lovely, you know. She she went away and she was quite emotional about it. Like she was quite emotional about it. She goes, you know, I was just trying to do the right thing. I said, you did exactly the right thing. He was a fuckhead. Like, he really was. Like, when I come along, he doesn't talk to me in a bad way. Why? Just because she's a young girl. And, you know, he feels like, oh, you're a young girl. I'm going to fucking tell you. You know what I mean? Like, he was not talking very coherently to, okay? Even when he talked to me and I was like, you know, what did you want? And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. What did you want? I even had to double take on what he was saying or try and really listen to what he was saying. Because he was mumbling his words. He wasn't drunk or anything. He was just an old fart. And he was mumbling his words and, yeah, he had this weird way of talking so he was pretty hard to understand as well so the poor girl did what she could and she just didn't understand what he was saying and yeah then he bloody snapped and there is absolutely no reason to talk to somebody like that even if they have fucked up even if they've made a mistake even if they've been crap just tell them 
excuse me, I'm sorry, but you know, I just don't believe, I don't think that you're listening quite well. You know, if you could put, you know, that could be a lot better than saying you, you're not listening. You don't listen. Even just better, just, you got your drinks, bugger off, go. You don't need to make them, you know, you don't need to say anything. But anyway, what are you going to do? The Hospitality Diaries.